Okay, hi everyone. This is Zhou Jialiang. I'm currently working at Alibaba Group. Um, today I'm excited to share with you our latest uh, research on how to build a click-through rate or CTR model um, to address an interesting and pra practical problem we call the limited stock problem in C2C platforms. <clears throat> um, in the digital marketplace, the ability to anticipate which items users are mostly likely to click on is not just valuable, it's a cornerstone of success. Um, accurate CTR prediction drives personal personalized shopping experiences, ex uh, streamline user engagement, and significantly enhance the return on advertising investment. But this field is rapidly evolving. I'm not sure how many people actually heard of Xian Yu. Um, this is the largest online secondhand e-commerce platform in China, in which people can put their unused stuff online and sell them. Um, traditional recommendation models that, uh, sorry, that work well on business to consumer, or we call B two C platforms. Um, struggle to adapt in consumer to consumer or C2C platforms. Um, so in this presentation, I will delve into the unique challenges presented by the C2C domain and introduce an innovative solution, the Metasplit Network or MSNet. Sorry. Um, which promises to revitalize CTR prediction model for these C2C platforms. Um, so first, we will talk about the contrast between B2C and C2C platforms. In B2C platforms, products come from professional sellers. Each product has sufficient stocks and plenty of user interaction behaviors. And the abundant data will benefit the CTR model training process. And the embedding of items with multiple stocks can be learned well. But in C2C platforms, however, um, products are often posted by individual users, just uh, like you and me. Um, each product often has limited stocks and sparse user interactions. This will cause three major challenges for our recommendation system. Um, firstly, sparse interactions and insufficient data will lead to um, slow convergence in item ID embeddings for those with limited stock products. Um, secondly, this will make the conventional sequence modeling-based approaches like DIN cannot effectively, effectively utilize user historical information since um, this information contains a mixture of items. Uh, some are the multiple stock, some are the limited stock. Um, particularly, um, the attention mechanism in a sequence model tends to assign higher scores to product with more accumulate user interactions, making limited stock products being ignored and contribute less to the final output. Um, the third one is that a main characteristic of limited stock products is that once they are sold, they are no longer available for future exposure or click on in the platform, which will pose um, significant challenges for data-driven recommendation systems leading to data wastage and information loss. Um, to address these challenges in C2C platforms, we propose the Metasplit Network, or MSNet. It splits, uh, first it splits user history sequence based on product stock volume, employing distinct model approaches for each sequence. As for the limited stock product, a meta-learning approach is applied to address the problem of inconvergence, uh, which is achieved by designing the meta scaling and shifting network uh, with the ID and site information. Um, in addition, traditional approaches can hardly update the item embedding once the product is consumed, uh, sold out. Uh, thereby, we propose an auxiliary loss that makes the parameters updatable even when the product is no longer in distribution. Uh, more specifically, 
In the sequence meta learning module, we deploy two meta networks to address the issue of um, insufficiently trained in item ID embeddings. Um, the first one is the meta shift network or the meta DN1 as shown in the equation one. It takes the site information of a product as input and use the well-trained site information to compensate for the shortcoming in ID embedding training process. The second one is the meta scaling network or the meta DN2 as shown in the equation two. It takes the original origin ID embedding of products as input. If the ID embedding is not sufficiently trained, the meta scaling network can acti actively perceive this information and enhance the importance of site information, such as um, the category, the brand, and so on. And as for the auxiliary loss, we aimed for product item ID embeddings to resemble with each other according to the similarity of their site information based on the assumption that um, items with a similar site information like category or brand should have the similar ID embeddings. And we applied the stop gradient, stop gradient operation to the site information embeddings, um, thereby allowing the item ID embedding to receive as much updates as possible. Um, this process can keep the item ID information continue to be updated even after the um, product is sold out. In, in this way, the information of limited stock products in the user historical behavior can be utilized as much as possible, even when they are not available in distribution. Um, in the data set, we collect click traffic logs of eight days from Xianyu recommendation platform to build the production data set with 10 billion samples. Um, the samples in the first seven days and the eighth days are employed for training and testing res respectively. And we, ran we randomly uh, partition the testing set into 10 partitions, 10 parts, and the report average evalu evaluation results. Um, we compare the proposed MSNet with our uh, four types of baselines. The first types are common DN-based methods, including DN, uh, wide and deep, and deep FM, and DIN. That is our um, base model. Um, the second types are meta-learning methods, including um, group ID, meta E, and MWUF. Uh, the third types are some um, gate network methods, including the gate net, VBNet, and POSOL. And uh, for the first type of baselines, we implement two label debiased uh, approaches, including the log queue and class rebalance. We adopt some widely used metric um, every under the ROC curve or AOC and the group AOC, uh, we call the GOC, to evaluate the performance of our proposed method. Um, MSNet shows the best performance compared to other methods across the overall data set. Um, as same as the, same, uh, the new product data set and the limited stock product uh, data set on the right. Um, specifically, um, compared to the based model DIN, our approach achieved a more than 1% improvement of AOC and a 1.9% increase of GLC on the overall data set, and a 1.4% uh, uh, increase of AOC on the new product data set, and uh, over 1% increase of AOC on the limited stock product data set. And the uh, uh, ablation study verified the necessity of each module, among which the auxiliary loss module made the most significant contribution. And, and in the online A-B test, uh, as a result, the overall CTR and the uh, click num increased by over 3%, and the click for the limited stock items increased by over 5%. And we also noticed that the exposure rate of the limited stock items improved by over 1%, and which supports the effectiveness of our approach for solving the limited stock problem.
And this modeling strategy, along with subsequently optim optimizations, has been comprehensively deployed in our Xianyu recommendation scenario. Um, in conclusion, we offer the first uh, C2C e-commerce solution for limited stock product recommendation, addressing the key issues of non-convergence in item ID embeddings and mixed user behaviors in product stock volume levels. And our novel meta split network <coughs> split user history sequence based on product stock volume and employ a meta learning approach and an auxiliary loss to make a better CTR prediction on the limited stock items. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.